Hello there, my frugal friends. Thanks for popping up today at the Lioness Lane and welcome back. Today I am going to share with you all some eclectic DIY tea light candle decor that I made for my bathroom. If you want to see how I made these, just keep watching. The first thing I am going to do is to remove all of the stickers and plastic coverings from all of the tea light holders. Then I'm going to take them all out back, divide them up, and give them several coats of spray using this Rust Oleum 2 times Ultra Coverage Spray. I am now going to work on the 8x10 frame while I wait on the tea light candles to dry. I'm going to use the white divider paper from the holographic sheet pack and also the bling row I'm going to hot glue around the frame. I have a confession, I've never used bling wrap so this is going to be my first time ever using it. But I'm going to remove the plastic first and then remove the backing of the frame in order to add that cardboard paper. Okay, my first attempt at hot glue and a bling roll, here we go. I'm just going to measure across to see how much of it I need before I cut it and then I'm going to cut it. Now that I have my measured out pieces, I'm going to hot glue the top and then I am going to hot glue the bottom. If you're like me and you're watching this and you have never used hot glue or uh, not that you haven't used hot glue, but you've never used hot glue on bling roll, uh, quick heads up is very hot and it's sticky. It will stick to your nails. It seeps through a little bit. So just a heads up to uh, be careful. I have already placed the white divider cardboard inside of the frame with the white side up. I did have to trim off some excess. I'm going to continue to hot glue this bling wrap around the frame and I'll be back when it's time to glue the tea light pieces to the glass. The hot glue is dry on the bling wrap. Now it's time to put some Gorilla Glue on the glass part of the frame. I want this frame to be able to sit up like a picture or lay down flat. So if you do this project, make sure that you place that kickstand out first so that you'll know how it'll look if it's standing up and you wanna have that position in the way in which you want your tea light candles to show. And by showing, I mean color preference. Now I have another quick confession. I did not allow my pieces to dry completely before flipping it over, but I am going to fix that with this bling wrap. So if you are like me and you do the same thing, you could save it by applying some bling wrap to it. Not only am I new to DIYs, I am also new to spray painting, so lesson learned and I know in the future to just allow it to dry, but right now you're just seeing me position the tea light candles in the spot that I want them in before I apply the, the bling wrap. From here I'm just going to cut the desired width and hot glue the bling wrap to 
the defects on the tea light candles. After I hot glue the bling wrap, I am also going to use my Gorilla Glue and put it on the bottom of the tea light candle and place it on the frame. If you use Gorilla Glue, a little goes a long way. This is what it is looking like so far. I'm going to allow this to continue to dry and start working on the long stem tea light candle holders. Now I am going to hot glue some of this bling roll around the top portion of the tea light candle. The hot glue bling roll alone looked terrible and I lost the footage or I thought I was recording showing you all how I fixed my mistake but I took a piece of scrap ribbon I had from Michaels and just wrapped it around the vase, the candle rather, with hot glue. I also had these little decorative balls that I got from Big Lots and I put a couple of pieces of the bling wrap on them and just hot glue them around just basically to cover up my errors and this is how it turned out. It didn't turn out how I wanted it to be but I am still okay with it. For the first long stem candle holder I took that bling wrap and hot glued it in a spiral direction up and down the candle holder and I am going to apply some of that bling wrap to the second one but I don't want to do the same thing I'm going to do something different I also hot glue some of the bling rolls about that width on three of the tea light candle holders and I did these three in this direction I decided to hot glue that bling wrap just going straight across or straight up and down this candle holder after I apply the hot glue to this I am going to hot glue some smaller pieces to the last three smaller tea light candle holders but instead of going across I am going to hot glue it going up and down now that all of the pieces are dried and embellished it is time to add the candles to the project Now for the reveal, this is the first project. I intentionally did not hot glue those tea light, the smaller tea light candles, the black, gold, and silver. I intentionally did not glue it because I wanted the option to be able to remove it. But I have it slanted as you could see there so that way you could see the, uh, the bling. And the one to the left, um, it's not as centered as I would like it to be, but hey, for a first time using bling roll, I am very proud of myself. But this is what it is looking like, and I was able to save my project, and I am happy. So now I'm going to show you some other options of styling this if you use this in your bathroom or any other room in your home to why I did not permanently glue those pieces together. For the first look and the second look, as you can see, I turned that tea light, the long stem tea light candle upside down. I removed the three tea light candle holders and just put an unscented round candle on top but you could put any candle there that could fit or even a tea light flickering LED candle. For the third look I just took those three tea light candle holders left it at an, an angle or a slant and just added those unscented round candles to the top. For the tea light candle holder frame, as you can see, I added those Dollar Tree flickering candles and it really looks nice. It doesn't look cheap or cheesy. It really looks nice in person. I personally would not put a real candle in there, but I think this would be beautiful in a bathroom along with some other candles like some real candles. But this is what it would look like if it was lying down flat on a table.
for the second look as you can see I have it standing up just like a picture with the kickstand out in the back and as long as you have allowed that glue to set those tea light candles will not go anywhere they are there in place I think this would be gorgeous in a bathroom with some other candles some bubble bath and um, some nice soft music set a mood set a tone I think this would look gorgeous in there not just with these colors but any colors of your choice I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this tea light candle decor for my bathroom and if you did please give this video a thumbs up also, if you decide to make something similar, let me know down in the comment section. I would love to see what you made and if you do not make videos and you do something like this and post it on Instagram, just let me know down in the comment section and I'll go and check it out. If you are not a subscriber, I hope you do so today. We'd we'll love to have you pop up over here and hang out with me from time to time over here at the Linus Lane. Also, feel free to leave me a comment, share this video, and I could also be found on Instagram under the Linus Lane. I thank you all so much for stopping by. And remember, a frugal lifestyle is more than just paper clipping. It is a way of living. I will chat with you guys in a new video. Bye-bye for now. Today, I am asking you all to join me in a DIY challenge titled, Home is Where the Find Is. I've hosted a collaboration in the past, but never an open and